Hello, Sean McLaughlin here, CEO of Airframes Alaska, and I'm here with John Earl, one of our aviation engineers, and we're here today to talk about aluminum struts. We have a big announcement uh, for the market uh, today. We've decided, after long deliberation, that we're going to stop and cease production of sealed steel struts, and we're going to focus everything now on aluminum struts. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, I'll just talk to the business side here for a moment, then I'm going to give it to John, and John will talk a little bit about the other side of it. But there's a couple of things happening in the market, you know, exacerbated by COVID, the changes in supply chain, the cost of the materials, and the lack of availability of the materials to make steel struts has become just overwhelming. Uh, at this point, we'd have to, the lead times on the product, the amount we would have to order is becoming just unbearable for us, especially as our customers are opting more for the aluminum struts anyway. In addition, the cost of producing those struts has always been high. And John, maybe you could talk a little bit of the history of, of the of why we make a sealed strut in the first place and yeah. what happened in the, in the whole cub world. John, I'll yes, so there you. was a, an AD with the original struts. Um, moisture was able to penetrate into the struts um, and then start to corrode the struts from the inside out. So we developed this, the sealed steel strut um, and that was to combat that AD, and now we're at the point where we're moving away from steel to aluminum because there's just so many advantages with aluminum. Um, it's higher strength to weight ratio, way lighter. Um, these are actually way stronger in, in tension. Um, so, so we'll talk about that yeah. here in a second, John. So, but you know, to kind of reiterate the line of this is the original Piper struts corroded from the inside. There were a few incidents, AD came out. Uh, we then produced sealed struts, sealed steel struts, which are complicated to make, especially if you're powder coating them. We've done that for many, many years, and we have the SDC for that. And, and then, of course, we came out with this product here for aluminum struts. Again, obviously not sealed, but they don't corrode. Yeah. Right, so they're open. Easy to inspect. Easy to inspect, you can see what's happening. You can paint them, but you don't need to paint them. And on a Cub, for instance, these struts save how many pounds? So comparing to OEM, um, 12 pounds, and if you're comparing to our heavy-duty steel struts, it'd be 16 pounds. So be, yeah, so you know, call it 13 on average pounds saved to move to a product that doesn't corrode. You can paint or not paint. It's kind of a no-brainer uh, in the marketplace. You know, the only thing we've heard from people is they're worried about whether these are as strong as the original ones. John, give us some stats on that. Like, yeah. So talk about how do you measure strength in a strut? There's two main modes i mean you've got obviously tension and compression okay um, so tension is holding the wing yeah. down so in flight in you flight see, in, yeah you see tension and then compression would be you've got a snow load on your wing um and you want you don't want your wings to, to push collapse it down okay yeah so okay so talk about tension first so how do these compare because we've done all the r d obviously on this and to get yeah. them approved how do they compare in tension? So the, the front and the rear are thousands of pounds stronger um, in than the in tension um, over the steel struts. So the limiting factor really was in buckling. So we had to design the strut Which around is compression. the compression. The compression yeah. was the limiting factor on the R&D design. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, so yeah. talk about that one. So as far as compression goes, our front strut is about 15, 50 pounds stronger than the original steel strut. Um, the so rear, pretty close. Yeah. Pretty yeah, close. pretty close. So we just kind of went over that bar there. Well, yeah. And then on the rear, um, it's 400 pounds stronger um, in compression. So we knew that you know a lot of times the rear strut buckles when there's a lot of snow on your wing. So we wanted to beef that up a bit, and we added 400 pounds in compression there. Compression fit, and we still made it lighter. Yeah. So yeah. we are as a company right now looking at, especially for the P18 market, potentially making a heavy-duty version of these struts, which would add a little bit of weight and add a little bit of strength in the compression side. Um, we're going to wait and see if the market's demanding that uh, from us, but we, it's, it's pretty simple for us to do. We've proven these struts already to the specifications necessary, so adding strength to them is pretty easy. That's, that's the easier thing to do than, than taking material away. So we will be doing that. For those of you who don't know, we now are approved to make these struts for the PA-18, PA-12, PA-14, PA-20, 22, and the Husky. And, and Mall. And Mall. So yeah, sorry, I almost forgot them all. And then on top of that, we've actually invested in tooling to make these things more efficiently. So we're bringing in a new CNC routing machine to help us cut the contours and strut, uh, the strut details at the end here and make the assembly of them more efficient and higher volume. So we really think the, the road has moved to aluminum struts for all of these small aircraft. And we're gonna try to maintain and be a best of breed company in this market. And we're gonna, we have a little bit of steel strut material left.
from our runs. We, you know, even if we wanted to buy it today, it wouldn't be here for another 50 weeks. We're just going to stop that. So what we have left, we will be putting up on the web. People can buy what we have left. And I think, you know, I, I know there will always be someone out there that still wants steel struts, maybe because they break one and they've got three other ones and want to stay steel. Uh, hopefully, Univer will maintain those for those people um, over time. So hopefully we're not deserting those pilots. We do have the STC for steel struts. We do have all the jigs for steel struts. And if there's someone out there who wants to make me an offer for that, you know, email us and I'll, I'll entertain offers. If you feel like there's a demand in the marketplace or a need for the pilots to do that and you, you feel like that business model would work for you on a smaller scale, you know, I'm not against it. But I think from our perspective, we want to go where our customers want to go, which is lighter, stronger, uh, less AD, um, yeah. uh, verification needed in the annual, um, more efficient supply chain, et cetera. So that's where we're taking the company. Um, so uh, I know there'll be someone out there who doesn't like this conversation, but um, I think we've run this thing through from an R&D perspective as well as a business perspective. And uh, we look forward to serving you guys uh, going forward.